for joining me today and today I have a very exciting video for you guys I wanted to go ahead and show you my craft tour I know you guys have been wanting to watch this and I'm super excited that it's finally done so I can finally show you guys if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below follow me down below one on Instagram on Facebook and on TikTok and let's go ahead and begin I'm go ahead and do an overview of the actual uh, area where I do do like all my craft stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and do all the detailed stuff so you guys could actually see how I actually organize all my craft stuff at the same time where you guys could actually purchase it. So I'm super excited that I finally get to show you guys. This is basically how I wanted it to set up. And thank you to my hubby because he actually helped me do a lot of the shelves and all that heavy duty stuff. So thank you so much for helping me, babe. So let's go ahead and Okay, begin. so let's go ahead and begin. So the first top section, as you can see up here, I did end up purchasing the purchasing these actual Victoria's Secret boxes these are actual gift boxes so as I was actually getting them I ended up just collecting them so these are the I think it's small medium large and then extra large so they do have them last time I checked so these are beautiful uh, gift sets that you guys could actually get at the actual Victoria's Secret um, website that's kind of where I got them and when you guys order stuff you guys can send them as gift or just kind of purchase them so they can uh, come in packages like that so that's where I got those. I know I got a lot of questions on where to actually get those Victoria's Secret boxes. So they end up basically coming from packaging when you do order stuff from Victoria's Secret. You just request it um, when you guys are about to check out. And then for the second shelf, so I have a total of six IKEA shelves. I'll definitely go ahead and link them down below. And then in the middle you have, I think it's a 12 by 12, basically covering the corners as you can see there so that's where I have so it's a total of six plus the three that cover the actual corners so once we have that the same thing these were actually from Ikea as well I'll see if I if they still have it if not I'll go ahead and put a similar one on my actual description one. these are just acrylic holders that I ended up purchasing at Amazon I'll definitely leave the link down below and this is where I store all my washi tape I have all the glitter ones on top all the regular patterns in the middle and then so on and so forth so they are very you can fit a lot of them so I have two in my actual shelf so that's where I purchased that the book on top it's actually a storage part it looks something like this and I just have like random little things so it's like a pretend little uh like book I figure I'll use it for like decorations and things like that I do have another one and it stores like just um, random things that I just uh, that just needed somewhere to go so it's kind of like the used up washi tape or like the random scraps of actual crafting of like the stickers when I do do my planners so that's what I'm planning on putting in those and then here I ended up purchasing the actual containers at Dollar Tree and then these are just all the highlighters and markers and lead pencils and all of the actual uh, supplies that I do have a fear I could go ahead and decorate it does make beautiful decor and at the same time I do end up using those as well and then these are all my planners that I have used that I love and I wanted just to keep for decor I love the happy planner if you guys haven't noticed but I do try different brands so be on the lookout I am gonna go ahead and expand I have tried Erin Conrad um, and Philo Facts and things like that so I kind of keep bouncing back and forth of my favorite creator so that's currently what I'm using right now so as you can see I did use them as decoration as well so stay tuned I am gonna go ahead and do a plan with me video I know you guys love this type of video so stay tuned go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already so on to the other ones. So I do have four of these other ones. These are actual uh, like a two tip uh, markers as well. So those are perfect for planning. And then I also got like different types of markers. I love trying different um, school supplies and things like that. And then in here I did pick up another one of the actual acrylic ones and I did fill it up with different type of washi tape. Some of these are from like actual happy planner that are actual tabs like in a washi tape. So I'm still trying them out. I'm trying to see if I do like them or not. So I will leave you guys, um, I will let you guys know. I'm still kind of playing around with them. So so I ended up picking up this camera as decor. If either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree, I'm not really sure where I picked it up. I did end up painting it pink. I did have some extra uh, spray paint in the garage. So I just kind of ended up doing that. And then my hubby got me this cute uh, microphone. It's actually a working microphone. So I'm thinking about using it for like karaoke and things like that. But for the time being, it currently just lays there as decoration. And then 
If you guys haven't seen my planner videos, I did customize this cute little planner. I did make the actual cover. As you can see, I made the cover, all the little decals, things like that, and then I did sort everything out. So I'll definitely go ahead and leave all my planner videos on the description so you guys could definitely go ahead and check them out. And then this, it's just, I was working on some jewelry. So that's where that's that. And then these containers, I did pick them up at Walmart. They only sell them when they do the back to school stuff and they are the perfect organization when it comes to actual like craft stuff. So as you can see, I can still see them. They're still cute. And on top, I can see everything that's inside. So everything is categorized exactly how I like it. I have tabs, I have stickers, I have uh, the tapes, I have all my stamp stuff, I have loose stamps as you can see here. It keeps everything so organized. I love this setup and I haven't seen anyone that has actually done anything like this. I love the clamps, it makes good decoration and they were less than a dollar, like it was pretty cool. So then these books, um, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but these books I did pick them up at Dezo. They do have a lot of beautiful uh, decor like books like I said this one's just decoration so it's like hollow inside and you guys just store like little trinkets and things like that okay so those two containers I did pick them up at home goods and then this particular frame I ended up making it let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to show you the easiest way that I made this like look it's a cute little shadow box let me know if you guys want me to show you I ended up picking most of it in Amazon so it's very very affordable and I just thought it was like the beautiful add-on for my actual like decor and then here if you guys haven't picked up your plan a happy life from Stephanie Stephanie Fleming definitely go ahead and do that it's a wonderful book if you guys haven't done so already and then I also have so I have a total of eight on this side I do have all my jewelry stuff I do fix you know every now and then jewelry for my kids and I do make jewelry I do have some different types of stamps I have all my craft tools these are my sticker pockets adhesive stuff this is additional double-sided tape I have all my blades and glue sticks and anything that has to do with the glue gun and then I have my embroidery and everything in here and then here this is a cute little piece my husband picked up for me when we did um, go to the store so I forgot where we actually purchased this but as you can see it's like huge and it was so cute because it looks just like my Canon that I currently used to film and then these I ended up just uh, making them with actual like vinyl so if you guys want me to show you how you can make cute decor items for your craft room your office your business or just your home definitely let me know down below so moving on to the desk I'm gonna go ahead and sit down to show you more of an overview so if you guys haven't seen my previous videos I did show you where I actually picked this up it's like a stamp holder and that's where I store most of my stamps it's kind of like the ones I use more on a day-to-day -day basis and then this cute little heel my husband got it for me for like um for my birthday and then i do have this is like a cute little light up like how cute is that i love anything like studio so i'll probably end up putting this in my studio I feel like it would be such a cute um decoration so we'll go ahead and move that and then i do have this little tray where like my daughters or anything they want me to fix they kind of leave there and that's where I come like when I have time to work on them and then I just ended up um finishing it and then I give it to them but that's where they know to leave stuff that they want mommy to work on or like fix and that's where I kind of do so right now I currently have a necklace it's a cute little dolphin necklace when we went to SeaWorld so um, the chain broke so I definitely have to go ahead and work on that so I'll do that after this video so on this section I did pick these up at five and below these are like the cutest cups that I have ever seen it's kind of like a little holder it says don't let today be a waste of makeup and then this one says be your own kind of beautiful and I store them for like all my gel pens and like um, finer point uh, pencils or pens so that's where I do that and then this one I'm in the process of finishing an actual craft project to customize it like a little Chanel perfume so definitely stay tuned for that and then these bottles I got a refill with alcohol and water because it's kind of what I use when I'm doing crafting or just need to clean things up I do have this file organizer and that's where I put all my card stock I figured it would be like so easier and then I did purchase screen protectors to um, cover them and then everything's 
a little bit somewhat organized and then I do have the bigger um, pages on top and then I have my cutting mats and everything in the back they're see-through so it just makes it a little bit easier so it's not too like right in your face and then this one is probably like my favorite buy I did purchase this at Hobby Lobby I'm not sure if it's connected well I gotta connect it but it's an actual lamp it's an LED lamp so when I am working late I do use it and I bring it out just so I can kind of work on my actual like mat so that's where I do that and I like that it's collapsible so when I'm not using it you can fold it and then you can fold it one more time so I'm not gonna do that just because I have the tape on the way but that's where that would go this I picked it up at Amazon this holds duct tape like I couldn't find a dispenser for duct tape that was actually really cute so this holds duct tape. You could actually swap these out to hold any type of tape. They do come with different ones, so definitely check that out. And then I did pick this up at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then these are the little trinkets that I use when I am bedazzling and use rhinestones. So I put them in this little cute container, um, and it holds all the rhinestones while I'm doing that. And then this is like an actual brush holder. It's just a cute little crown that I use. So it just keeps all the rhinestones in place. And then I have a few more gift cards that I haven't used. Okay, so these are the stickers. And then when you come over here, I do have just my regular journal that I just used to write down notes. I picked that up at Ross, I believe. And then I do have just my regular fan and just like my little Apple pencil that I normally use. And then I have this cute little thing that I ended up finding at Marshall's. So it spins, it's pink, and I ended up picking up another one for my studio and it's kind of where I store all my little things. So I have all my cute little diamond um, pens there. I have like my little exacto and like a knife there. I have my magnifying lamp and a few more needles when I am doing like different things or if I'm sewing things. I have a few of the cotton pads. I have my little tray if I have to mix anything. Lead pencils, more exacto knives, tweezers, and then just a bunch of little add-ons for my planner. And then I have this cute little stapler that actually works um, vertically or horizontal when I am doing like books or planners so I like it because it, it's more versatile than a regular stapler it looks something like this you can pick that up I believe at Michael's and then I have different types of scissors on top and some rulers and these are just like sharpies and things like that and this is just where I have like all my card stuff where I have like all the extra stickers so it's very versatile if I kind of just want to jump back and forth when I am crafting so that's what it would look like and then this is just like um, extra stuff that I currently have and then here are just like some leftover pens that I still got to go through I'm still in the process of trying out and then I did pick up this where it stores all my extra supplies so in here I have like my everyday my everyday stamps and glue and exacto knives and just white out and just washi tape whoa here I have just a bunch of pens markers things like that because I do like to doodle um, on journals and planners here I have all my powders when I do like different types of stamping clear stamps I have the wax sticks and rhinestones and everything that pertains to that here I just have like extra craft tools and things that I need like brushes spare um, adhesive pockets vacuums things like that so I'm going to go ahead and show you an overview again. So that's what it would look like. I love this setup. It took a while to get it like this, so I'm super happy that I finally get to finish this project in my actual craft room. So I'm super excited. Let me guys know. Let me know down below if you guys love these type of videos and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite part of this video and what craft stuff uh, I need to actually check out so definitely let me know on the comment section down below so I could definitely go ahead and do that and I will see you guys in my next video